Hey everybody, Tim Kelly here for Master Photo Techniques. Pleasure to be with you again today. I have a quick new update or a lesson on a new device that I'm going to attach to my Godox remote kit. I'm using the V1, as you know, the round-headed battery-operated um, speed light in an S2 bracket, which also can hold soft boxes easily or other diffusion devices. And today we're going to use the umbrella in one sense, soft box in another or a parabolic diffusion style. And I was searching for Godox soft boxes. This came up, I believe it's 43 inches. And it was of course, extremely inexpensive as they are. 43 inches when opened. And here's the thing that's so cool about it. I have not used it yet. I'm going to do that here for you today. It is so light. I think it's light enough to go first class mail one stamp. It's so ridiculous. Today, we're going to put this on here and see how it functions. It was ordered on Amazon and it came from B and H. So surprise, surprise. Okay. Looks a lot like an deflated ice cream cone. So we'll stick our hand in there, find the shaft, because it is umbrella, as I said. All right. All right, there we go. Well, look at that. So there's the umbrella aspect of it. Quick opening. Now you might say, why, why the hole? Well, so we can get the flash in as far or wherever position we want. Has obviously a zipper here so we can get in closer and work. And then has a drawstring as well. So I guess once the flash is positioned, we can make sure there's no severe leakage. Looks like this draws it closed. And the whole thing is very small, very tight. So let's put it on the, uh, the light here and see what happens. Let's see if this will go over. Again, use, where's the zipper guy? There it is. All right, turn this a little bit. See if that helps us get in there. It does. All right, close that up. See if this thing will draw a little bit closed or not. Of course, we can go ahead and pitch it wherever we want. Let's go ahead and fire up this guy. And we need to get the modeling lamp on. Let's see, boom, okay. There it is, so that's on. Let's do a test fire. There's a test. Okay, actually, doesn't look half bad. Okay, the newer brackets do not have a thumb screw on the umbrella shaft area because largely they want it to fly out if the wind hits, hits it. But basically it doesn't stay completely where you might like it, but it does keep the shape well. So maybe we'll do a test shot with it, see if that works. And then uh, I have a different bracket we could try as well. And what we're gonna do is, you know, test it on, grab one of the guys here in the building and we'll see what kind of quality it has. This light is definitely big enough to cover one or two people. And I think the amount of dispersion it has in the soft front is gonna give us a nice quality. So let's raise it up just a little higher. Let's see if we can get that up there. All right. And of course, this is becoming the key light for today. The other lights that are in here are just lighting us for video and any of them that the strobe records, it's not, it's not doing anything to my subject. And we're at full power at the moment and we may have to trim it. Hey, so Grant, come on in here, bud, and just sit right here. That's all I gotta do. Just be a mannequin for me right there. To see if I can get a good light on you. I'm gonna have you sit tall, lean a little forward and fall towards the light just a little. Turn your nose up this way because that's, that's where the light's coming from. So we'll do a quick test shot and see what we're getting out of that light. Nice to me. Beautiful. Good. And as you can see here, we're pretty far over. 
think what we'll do is we'll just trim the power on our Godox right here. And we're on B, so that's full power. We're gonna go ahead and take it down to quarter power and check that out. Let's see how that looks. Same thing. Very close, very nice. Quality of light is really nice. And it just needs a little reflector on the opposite side, which we can easily do. Basically, ambient plus a, a light and a reflector. So you're still good. Let's see, very, very nice. Now our kick light is coming from another strobe, which we can do is uh, turn that way down so it doesn't come on because I don't want to deceive you. Just get this a, a test so we we're honest about what we're getting. Yep. All right, I'm very pleased with the quality of light on Grant in, the, in my regular camera. You can't get too terribly close because of the amount of shaft we have. You don't want to endanger any children, but this is about as close as you could possibly get with it, which is about three feet from the light to the subject. So let's do one more test, a little more frontal, and just see what it looks like for him. It's very good. Quality of light is really, really nice. I would say, though, because he's wearing that lighter shirt, we need to actually have a lighter background to make this good. So what we're going to do is add a background light. You know I like the grid spotted one. So I've got an S2 uh, adapter, which we're going to put on this stand. And then we'll uh, power it up and turn the modeling lamp on, which I need to do by remote control. And we're going to position it behind our subject here, out of our way. I like it off to the side myself, aiming in. We have our background light. We'll see how it hits our subject and the power that's on it. And do a test just to see what we got. Oh yeah, big change and that will surely show. Uh, let's power it down a tiny bit plus we'll maybe lower its physical spot as well. I'm gonna go down to an eighth power. Why don't you cross your arms, tuck them in high, pumped up. Tip in just a little bit to the light like that. Bingo, stay right there and that's good. Not quite enough on my main. And that test shows me I just want to cut the spotlight a little bit here. I'm gonna pull it back and aim it a little bit lower so it kind of gradiates from the bottom. And let's see. Yeah, that's a very nice looking uh, arrangement right there. Let's turn the nose just a hair more this way. And why don't you put your hands on your uh, thighs instead. Kind of push your shoulders up a little bit. Shoulders up like this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you look like a high schooler, you know. There you go. You got to have some, some of that going on. Excellent. I'm going to go a tiny bit more frontal for him. A little closer on the reflector because it is a headshot. All righty, very nice. Good, very good light. All right, beautiful right here. You can smile for one because you're done. All right, for the moment, that's great. So I would say that the quality of light that I'm getting from this is, is really very good to excellent. No problems there. I do feel it's a little awkward that we're unable to you know, get this shaft more out of the way or be able to tip the light more into the dead center of the umbrella. So I'm going to try this other adapter, an umbrella adapter. Of course, it'd be a shoe mount for the flash. We'll just try that and see if that's more friendly to the umbrella style because I think we'll be able to tip the flash head exactly where we want it. So here is the adapter we want to use. So it's going to go in the shoe. All right, you gotta tighten it up nice and securely. Make sure you have a good lock on it so it's not gonna go anywhere. We don't want it to fall over and break. So that's tight and the Godox shoe is tight. I'm planning on putting the umbrella base softbox through here and I think we'll just have more control between this tip and this tip to hit the middle. All right, so let's see if this is a happier arrangement. 
There we go. So we're going to go ahead and push the light through as we did before. Here's the thing that's different is we will be able to aim this head into the center of this um, umbrella. So we can leave this head inside the box. I'll call it a box even though it's kind of a modified umbrella. And it, because it's all radio, it's going to do everything by remote. Tighten this thing up now. We need to use this part of the bracket right here to uh, change the pitch that we want to get for the actual photography. So we'll loosen that, pitch it to the kind of degree that we want, tighten it up, and then put it in place for the portrait that we're working on. Shaft still sticks out about as much, but I do feel like we have a cleaner setup, less distorted box, and we are hitting the dead center of the umbrella. So let's do a quick, quick test. Very, very nice. Of course, the quality of light is the same as what we've been getting, just a different bracket. So we're gonna move it again. We decided for him more frontal was better. All right, and the reflector looks good. So let's see if the exposure from this spot is it. If it is, we are good. Boom, that's great. From this frame, I'm gonna pitch the background spot a little bit lower behind his shirt. And a tiny little pitch down. Here we go, longer lens, good shot. Looking very nice. Great, let's turn the nose more this way, bud. Good, all right. That's very nice lighting, very good, all right. My final assessment is, this is a very good value for a quick softbox for like 30 bucks. Quality of light is excellent, value is excellent. And if you're setting up a home studio or something and you wanted to put like two of these as your fill light, skylighter or something, be a great value. Uh, but as a key light, getting it close enough, it's a little bit in the way uh, to get the, um, the working distance that you want and you've got some intrusion here. If you move it away, the light becomes more specular and harsher, shadows are harsher. You could put it on a boom stand get it out of the way and shoot it from above. But in my standard quick setup, I find it just a little bit in the way. But you do need to have an alternate adapter because the S2 uh, kind of is a little bit clunky and doesn't let you really hit the dead center of the umbrella. Thanks for joining us today for one more episode of uh, Tim Kelly's Master Photo Techniques. Today, just a quick review of one of the many inexpensive light you know, modifiers out there. And I hope you enjoyed uh, my trial with it. If you need larger, I'm sure it's out there. I'm gonna try a few more, but for today, you know, I give it a B. Have a great one.